All right, I have a game we should review. I have a game we should review. I think we should do uh, Guildhall Old World Economy. I think we should do Guildhall Job Fair. Old World Economy. Job Fair. Old World Economy. Why don't we just do both? Oh, yeah, I guess that is actually a lot better, huh? All right, today on Couple vs. Cardboard, we review Guildhall Old World Economy. And Job Fair. Hi, I'm Glenn. I'm Cheryl. And this is Couple vs. Cardboard. All right, two for the price of one. Two. Yeah, we're going to do both the review of both of those games. Uh, first. One, first. Okay, so I think we should start with an overview. Yeah. Of because they the both, they're both basically, in, in a sense, the same game. There are different occupations that you are trying to put together with multiple colors of the same occupation. So in effect, you're trying to get a full set of one occupation to count for yeah. a set. For points. And we'll talk about how points works in just a second. But yeah, you're you're trying to put a set of them together. The the tricky thing though is uh, in, in a game of solitaire, if you were just putting down a card. It just counts as a card. It would just be a card. But in this game, as you put a card down, it does something for every card you already have sitting on the on the table. Yes. And that's actually the most confusing part of this game, is that as you're placing a card it, it does something for every card already sitting on the table. So it does, typically, it does not count the card that you're placing. Actually, it never does. So, and when you do, when you place it on the table, there's a lot of things that can happen. Uh, and it depends on the, jo the job you're talking about. For example, if you were to place the assassin down on the table, it would discard one or multiple cards from one of your opponents. Right. So as far as this game's theme goes, it's very light. In some sense, the, the actual jobs themselves are really just there to kind of give you a sense of what action is taking place. It's really like a teaching tool of what action is probably going to take place as you do it. So the uh, especially in Old World Economy, you have really kind of more, somewhat more intuitive jobs where as you place them down on the table, it's a little bit more intuitive on in terms of what you would imagine them doing. Like an assassin killing someone else's. Right. So then with the sets, once you've gathered sets, you can collect them and use them to purchase points. And basically how you win the game is the first person to 20 points wins the game. Right. So with the sets, you buy victory point cards that sometimes have additional actions with them. Um, and you collect the points until you get 20. There's also little victory coins that you can get based on some of the the occupations will give you coins or whatever. So right. you're gathering those, you're buying victory points, and trying to get to 20 points to win. If you could make a guild hall occupation, what would you choose? Cowboy astronaut. <laughs> Your, what would be a guild that you would choose? Time Lord. Circus clowns. The IT specialists. The app developers. CrossFit trainers. Thesbians, Teen Choice Award hosts, <laughs> the concert cellists, and what they do is you can change the the soundtrack to whatever you guys are listening to in the place <laughs> that you're control at. Control over music. Yeah. What do you think about Old World Economy itself? Uh, I really, really have a fun time playing this. Um, I think there's a lot. It's really light. It feels very light, but has enough um, combos and strategy to feel like you can play it over and over, and it feels different and interesting and fun. Um, and it goes quickly. Your turns go quickly, so you feel like you're kind of always in the action, which I always like games like that where you don't have a lot of, you know, waiting for the other person to figure out what they're doing. It, it goes pretty quickly, um, but it still feels like you ha you're figuring out how to win. Right. What do you think? I I really like this game because I think it's a fun game that feels um, like it has some depth and some weight to it, uh, while at the same time not adding complexity. So there's one of the things that you find yourself learning along the way is what combos with, with what. Mm -hmm. Like if I play this card in this order, 
then it combos well with the other thing. It has replaced Dominion for me because mm -hmm. I think, not because they're similar, but because they kind of have that abstract combo-y kind of feel to them. They're, they do have a very similar feel. Well, without the deck building aspect. Right. So obviously the deck building aspect of Dominion is what a lot of people play it for and use it for. And for me, I really like it because it has that kind of combo-y aspect, the kind of very light thematic aspect, um, while at the same time manages to be... Uh, Way easier to set up. Yeah, the setup is shuffle the cards and go. So yeah. I, I really like that. It feels like a board game, even though it's just cards, but you can take it, like we took it and played at a like local pub, yeah. um, and it was manageable you know yeah. like it's not like you have all these components to set up or whatever so it has that kind of feel of um strategy mid middle kind of game um while being really transportable and easy to set up and take down which is really fun for us so that we can get out and take a game with us yeah for sure now what about job fair well job fair i think the first things that i like i'll just say the first things that i really like about it right off the bat is the first thing is that it it is storage uh, one of the things that AEG has started doing with a lot of their games like Smash Up and Trains is they provide storage for future expansions, which... Do you like storage? I love storage. I love oh. storage. And actually what, what drives me insane is when a game does not include storage, even though they have planned expansions. Right, so then you go and manufacture your own storage for it, right. basically. Right, which I don't like, especially I like things that are molded or that, that are made to do that. You do. You so love game organization. I do. I love game organization. We'll probably do a couple thoughts on it eventually. Oh, that'd be fun. I love it. The other thing that I really like about it is I like that it is uh, more of the same. So I like that you have... Uh, a lot of what you had in Guildhall that's kind of transported over into this new medium. However, uh, the, the one thing that I don't love about this is it bogs down quite a bit. There are just some uh, occupations in this one that I just do not enjoy. Uh, there are some that I enjoy, but some that I just, I have tried multiple times to get behind and cannot quite grasp. And the combo aspect of it is a lot harder in job fair, which is a little bit, which was really actually really frustrating for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think I agree with you. Obviously we've talked about this, but I think there's some, the things about the job fair that are great, I think is that it can add variety to um, yeah. the original in that you can kind of mix and match them. And I think that's a really fun component. Yes. So if you're getting tired of the occupations in the original, you can add it, you switch out, add in a couple other ones. Um, that makes it just fun and unique and, and change it up a little bit. Yes. Um, and I think that's fun. I think it loses something in that. There's a lot of uh, like do this and then this in a card instead of just this is what this card does. The abilities are what really like are just not as straightforward and right. so it makes it a lot slower which is just i think it the game loses something for being slower if if it had been kind of uh put out there as here's an expansion for guild hall i think i would have been 100 percent in like i think it would have really grabbed me and if you say okay so what the point of this one is is maybe like dominion you pull one of these occupations out you put a different one in or you pull several out and you put several back in that would all be fine like i would i would probably have been great with it but it was kind of billed as a standalone game that you could play you know you could just get job fair or you could just get uh the original guild hall old world economy and that would be fine but in actuality it seems to me that job fair as its own game is just not really all that fun. It's fun as an expansion and probably even if you're playing with all 12 or individual cards it would be fine. Yeah. But as its own game, it was just not very fun. It was not our favorite. I was totally bummed out because I was so excited about it, especially because I really did enjoy Guildhall. Yeah. Well, do enjoy Guildhall. I still play it. <laughs> right. So would you say buy Guild would you say buy job fair? I would say start with Guild Hall. Okay. See how you feel about it. Okay. If it's a game that you're going to be playing a, t a bunch. Yes. Then you could pick up the expansion for some 
variety. Yes. I wouldn't pick up, I wouldn't start with job fair, nor would I pick it up as its own, as a separate standalone game. Right. Great. What about you? Uh, yeah, I would, I feel the same way. I think it adds more of the same game experience, which I like. Uh, I think that some of the occupations that are rolled out in job fair need kind of to be uh, put in with a lot of the other ones to really sort of make sense of them. And I think that the original is super fun on its own too, so yes. I would definitely start there. Yes. Yeah, I love the original uh, Guild Hall. I think it's totally great. Yeah. Internet, thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Keep playing awesome games. Goodbye. What about me? What would you pick? What would I pick? For as an occupation? Fire breather. <laughs> okay. What would their thing be? They breathe fire. You can light the other cards on fire. <laughs> they have like a lighter on yeah, them? Yeah, they just come with a lighter. <laughs> just like, okay, I'm playing the fire breather. <laughs> <laughs> I pick your card to burn. <laughs> You'd have to buy so many sets of, of Right? Ball. It's just brilliant. You're welcome, AEG. You're welcome. <laughs>